Fenerbahçe seni çok yaşar. I'm Chris O'Donnell from Ireland. Um, I'm an Olympic athlete. I competed at Tokyo 2020. Uh, I run 400 meters and uh, I came to support Fenerbahce in Istanbul. I, I only am running now because I used to play football. It's funny. So um, I was playing yeah, on the wing and I was pretty fast. And then the coaches are saying, well, you should uh, join the running club so you can train more speed and then you will be even faster on the football pitch. I did not want to do any races um, just to help my football. It went a lot better than expected and then so, uh, when I was representing my national team, I can't ignore that and I said, uh, yeah, I will go to running now. Yeah, it started when I was a young boy, uh, a funny story, my uncle was on holiday in Istanbul and he brought me back a present and the present was a Fenerbahce jersey and on the back was Shemi Shenturk in number 23 and I said, yeah, I'll wear it and then I started to watch the match on the television and you had guys like Alex and they're scoring crazy goals and then I see the, the fans and I said, start to watch more and more matches and then I started to follow them, you know, through the internet and stuff like that and then the fans, I start to interact with them and they're really crazy and then I says, you know, I, I have a little break after Tokyo so I will come to the match now finally. I, I remember the games like against Sevilla and you know, Chelsea, Chelsea with uh, David's goal and that. I so saw the, against Pate Borisov when the fans were not allowed in. Um, no, I was already following and then I seen the, the, the flares in the sky and it was not a surprise because I know the, how passionate the fans are and I was like trying to show my friends at home, you know, look at this, this is amazing. And, and they were like, whoa, oh my God. <laughs> I was in the stadium two hours before the game and there was the stadium was, was nearly full and they were chanting and in the warm-up the players they were getting ready and getting the players warmed up you know uh, every player goes up to the fans and the connection between the fans and the players can really be, be seen in Fenerbahce. You can tell his intelligence you know he finds the right spaces with his experience he always He's looking over his shoulder and he has pockets of space and he, he takes the pass, you know. I think they should let yeah, the fast guys attack from his passes and then it's a real good weapon for Fenerbahce as you've seen. This will be my first. Uh, yeah. Yeah, very good. <laughs> I just know like the chance, like, you know, Southern can I... Uh, so I had the, the tea, lots of tea yesterday. <laughs> I am not training at the moment. I don't need to follow my diet. And so we had a nice stoner kebab uh, before the game. <laughs> I won't uh, tell my coach, but he's, it's okay because I'm on holiday. <laughs> it's my first time in Istanbul and I only came the day before the game. And yesterday I was only in Kadikoy and I met all the amazing people and fans and uh, yeah, Moda. And, all these places was amazing. So I'm yet to really discover Istanbul. I have, I will stay now for two more days and I will see, but you know, the bridge and, and, the, and the, the sea is fantastic. And yeah, just the people have been super, super friendly. So I want to really thank the people as well. Maybe every year I can come here during my holiday and see a match. <laughs>